So every operation in mathematics has an inverse operation. Addition, subtraction, inverses. Multiplication, division, inverses. Even what we talked about in the last unit, um, uh, powers and roots are inverses. So what's the inverse of an exponential function? Well, it's not a root because you would have to have an x root and that doesn't make any sense. But mathematicians have defined something called a logarithm that is the inverse of the exponential function. So if you've got y equals b to the x, that can be rewritten. The inverse is log base b of y is equal to x. So things that you might notice. This base here is the same as that base there. All right. This exponent is what the log is equal to. And this argument, this y value, is what the original um, b to the x was equal to. Now, you've got three variables, y, b, and x, and you have certain restrictions on them. So let's take a look at the restrictions. Uh, x, the nice part is x has no restrictions. All right, x can be anything. So your exponent here can be anything. It, your logarithm can equal any number. All right. Now, b we've talked about a couple of times. b has to be greater than 0, but it cannot equal 1. Other than that, everything's fine. So no negatives, can't be 0, can't be 1. That's what we got. And then y, which is what uh, b to the x is equal to, or the argument of the logarithm, uh, y is also greater than 0. Uh, the reason being the range of all your exponential functions is only positive values, so y has to be a positive value. All right, what I want to do right now is use, um, just basically go back and forth between exponential and logarithmic and just work, uh, just kind of get used to the functions. So 3 to the 4th is equal to 81, so this would be log base 3 of 81 is equal to 4. Um, 4 to the x is equal to 16, so log base 4 of 16 is equal to x. You don't have to solve any of these. We're just rewriting. All right, that's all it is. Uh, x to the third is equal to 1,000, so log base x of 1,000 is equal to 3. Uh, 10 to the... Yeah, 10 to the 5th is equal to x. Now, this one I'm actually going to write twice. So this is log base 10 of x is equal to 5. Now, what I want you to know, base 10s are something that you can actually, I don't want to say ignore, but we assume. Uh, we keep talking about things that mathematicians assume. When you write a square root, you don't normally write the index of 2. When you write x, you don't write x to the first. We just assume that power is 1. So this base of 10, you can actually just write log x equal to 5. Whenever you have log on its own, that base 10 is assumed unless the base is specifically written out. So if it just says log of 10, it's assumed as log base 10. Of, I'm sorry, log of x. It's log base 10 of x. Okay, so we can do the same thing here, right? 10 to the x equals 12. So I'm just going to write it a single way, assuming the log, uh, the base 10. So log base 10 of 12 is equal to x. I said a base 10, um, but I didn't actually write it. Now, if you write it, that's fine. All right, the last two, um, you'll notice this e. E is a number. I know that sounds kind of weird, but E is a number. It's two point something. You can look on your calculator and find out what it is. Um, basically, it's considered what's called a natural number. And what we're going to do with these last two, um, you could write log base E, but mathematically, the correct way to write this is actually what's called the natural log of 24 is equal to X. In the same way that we have log here and we assume a base 10, Natural log, yes, I know it's written ln. Uh, natural log has a base e that we just assume is there. So same thing with the last one here. Um, let's see, natural log of x is equal to 15. Okay, so there's two of them you get to assume. If you just write log of x, that log has a base 10. 
If you write natural log ln, that log has a base of e. All right, now that's converting from exponential to logarithmic. Let's convert from logarithmic back to exponential. All right, so we've got our base of 12, power is 2, and this is going to equal to 144. So it's base power um, answer here, and base power answer is the argument. So next one here, we've got a base of x, the power is 7, the argument or answer is 3. Uh, base of 13 to the x is equal to the argument of 3. Now, you'll notice this one doesn't have a base, right? There's no base written here, so we're going to assume a base 10. So 10 to the number pi, yes, pi is just a number, uh, is equal to x. Uh, we have another one we get to assume a base 10. So 10 to the x is equal to 7. Two more here, we got a natural log, which means we're gonna assume a base e. So e to the 19th is equal to x. And one more, we've got the natural log of 77. So that means we've got e to the x is equal to 77. So that's the conversion from logarithmic to exponential. Um, so you understand how those two uh, equations are related. Uh, the bottom part here just talks about what that common logarithm, so assuming the base 10 and excuse me, the natural logarithm is assuming the base e, so ln is base e, and log is base 10. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or concerns on converting between exponential and logarithmic.